Wednesday, and so this is going to be the third time that we are going to read The Grouchy Ladybug. The author is Eric Carl, so he wrote the words, The Grouchy Ladybug. And Eric Carl is also the illustrator, so he drew this ladybug and the grass. We see all of this on the cover. On the spine, we can also see the author and the title. The spine keeps our pages together, and you can't open up the book at the spine. On the back, we see more pictures or drawings. And sometimes we see a little bit about the book. So let's go back to the front. The vocabulary words that we have already learned are fight, a battle, grouchy, to feel cranky, ladybug, a small round beetle that is red and orange with black spots. To make a loud cry or sound. Enough. As much or as many that you need. Aphids. Tiny little insects. Our new vocabulary words are arrived. To get to the place you need to be at. Across from one side to the other. They are going across the bridge. Flew to move through the air with wings. The ladybug flies or he flew somewhere. These are words that we will see in the book. The Grouchy Ladybug. Before we start, Please share something that happened in the beginning. The beginning is how the story started. Now that you've shared from your memory, let's see if you were right. The Grouchy Ladybug. So now we're in the beginning, how the story starts. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf and many aphids. Those are the tiny insects on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But it just then a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're all mine screeched the great la the grouchy ladybug, or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on someone bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and it flew off. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. A yellow jacket's just like a bee. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight, if you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At 
11 o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At 8 o'clock, you see our clock shows us 8 o'clock. It came across a praying mantis. Hey you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Sparrow's a bird. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And he flew off. At eleven o'clock, it's almost lunchtime. It bumped into a skunk. The grouchy ladybug said, Wanna fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. He's starting to look very small compared to the animals he's trying to fight. At 12 noon, it's the afternoon, it spotted a boa constrictor. The grouchy ladybug said, hey you, want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the hyena, laughing eerily and showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. He's looking pretty tiny. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy lady, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. There he is, and there's the big gorilla. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? You insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. He's right there. Teeny, tiny dot. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, Want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk, showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale did not answer. Ah, uh, you're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug, and he flew off. But our whale is very long, so he's going to keep on flying and flying. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you, want to fight? But no answer, so he flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey, you, want to fight? 
He got no answer, so it flew on. At a quarter to six, so it's about dinner time, the ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey, you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave a grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea, across the land. Where does he land, do you remember? At six o'clock, the ladybug arrived right there where it started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out and danced around the moon. over our vocabulary words that we read in our book. Flew, to move through the air with wings. That is how our ladybug kept on meeting different animals. He was flying to them or he flew to them. Across, from one side to another. Arrive to reach where you're trying to get. He arrived at the leaf that he started at so he could eat some aphids, some insects. Aphids, very small insects. Those are what he eats on the leaves. Enough, as much or as many that you need. to make a loud crying or sound. Ladybug, a small round beetle that is red and orange with black spots. Grouchy, to feel cranky. Fight, to battle. In the end of the grouchy ladybug, we saw that the grouchy ladybug wasn't grouchy anymore. When you are feeling grouchy, how can you make yourself feel better? Turn to a parent and answer them. When you're grouchy, how do you feel better? Thanks for joining me.